on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show all the different ways to make text all caps and why you should use one over the other Hi and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. Mostly ProPresenter, but anyway. So, this came up this past week. I was um, at church helping out with the Willow Creek Global Leadership Summit. I'm not at Willow Creek, by the way. I'm, my church is just a satellite site. And... So as we were there, the um, a couple of the other people that work in production, they're actually on staff at church, unlike me, um, and they said, man, the only problem with making this all caps over here is that it doesn't transfer over to Pro Video Player. And when I talked to Renewed Vision, they didn't have a way to fix that. They said it's a bug and it may or may not get fixed soon. So I thought that I would go through all the different ways to make text all caps and tell you which ways will work under what circumstances and which you should use under what circumstance because the little checkbox doesn't always work in all circumstances. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. There are a lot of ways to make text all caps. The easiest way, the one that probably most people will do is you find a slide you want to be all caps, you right click, you select edit slide, select the text, click here, um, the little A icon in the upper right hand corner, and click all caps. Easy to do, no problem there, unless you've got Pro Video Player. If you've got Pro Video Player and you're sending the text stream from ProPresenter to Pro Video Player, there's a glitch where it won't send it all caps. It sends it looking more like that. So if that's the case, or you have some other reason, uh, there are a couple other ways to do it. Probably the easiest way is just to select an all-caps font. So let's select capitals. When we do that, we find, oh look, it's all caps. And that solves that problem, except by choosing an all-caps font, you actually give up a lot of control over how it looks. So capitals, as you can see, is a serif font. has the little feet on... Um, a lot of the letters. Maybe you don't like that. In general, I don't like that. So that's less of a good solution for me personally. So what's another way that we could do this here? Let's go back to Helvetica New Bold. Okay, another way is we can select all the text. Triple click does that, by the way. Uh, and right click on it. Now we go to transformations and capitalize. We'll do the first letter, but what we actually want is make uppercase. Make uppercase makes it all uppercase and that should transfer over to uh, Pro Video Player or if for some reason you want to do that another way, that's cool. There, The problem, though, is you need to go through each slide to do that, so that's going to be very time-consuming. So along this same line, what we can do is get out of this, and we can go to File, Export Document as Plain Text. This will bring up a dialog for you to save this. Um, I've actually already saved this as and can it be 2 here and then you click export. 
Then what you want to do is go over to text edit. Let's slide over to text edit here. There we go. Text edit and again highlight everything. You can see I've already done this, but highlight everything, right click on it, transformations. By the way, you can do command A to select all transformations make uppercase. So if it was like this, you right click, transformations, make uppercase, and it becomes all uppercase. Now, you would probably think that you could just hit save, re-import it. For reasons that I'm not totally sure, maybe it's how text edit saves it. What you really want to do is make a duplicate copy. We used to call it save as, but for whatever reason, Apple changed the the name so you want to select duplicate and that will bring up a new version of it which I've already created and I've already saved so I did that and then I went into um, Pro Presenter here and did file import import file it allows me to choose it. Actually, this is the one I want to choose. And click Import. Then it lets me choose between these options. I'm not going to go through them right now. There's another video on that. In this case, I'm going to click Cancel because I've already imported it to save time. But I would normally click Import just to the right of the Cancel button that I just clicked. And that's what you get. This is that exact file, and it is all caps. That's another way. So, so far we've got the checkbox, which is the easiest way. We've got the all capitals type fonts, another easy way. Both of those, by the way, can be, uh, you can create a template with those features selected so you can go back and forth very easily. Remember the checkbox doesn't work as well with Pro Video Player. The all caps font, you lose control. Uh, right click and transformations in Pro Presenter is time consuming. Uh, export the whole thing, apply the transformation on a text document and re-import it works pretty quickly. But there is one other way, and I need to um, give credit where credit is due. Um, that This was actually something that someone commented on my video. I'll try and leave his name and a link to his video in the show notes if you want to see the original, because I didn't know this. So we're going to go um, back here to where we were. Yeah, okay, and let's scroll down to the song I was working on. That's in Canopy Caps, that's Message Notes, I believe it's the other one. I think there's a glitch in this version of ProPresenter because switching between playlists, I'm not seeing this stuff down here. So... Let's continue to scroll. And see if we can't find the other end. Can it be? Huh. It seems not to be there. Let's just click on this. Yeah, okay. So this is the one. Let's right click and select Edit Slide again. Keeping in mind that what I did was I applied the transformation just to this one slide. So let me select it. Just go ahead and hit Command A. Right click, Transformations. Let's go back to make it all lowercase. That is good there. Now, this is another imperfect way. Um, what we want to do is From this, 
click this text properties letter A. Okay. Now, when we do that, I don't know if Helvetica does this. So we're going to try it. Helvetica new bold is what I'm on right now. And if I go to typography, I don't believe it does. Nope. So Helvetica New Bold does not do this, but if I'm thinking about it, what was that? Wasn't Minlo? There is a... Some of these fonts do actually do this, and they none of these specialized fonts I know. Let's try Tahoma. I don't think this will, but it's worth a shot. Again, click the gear. No. No, okay. Times. This is a pretty old one, so I kind of doubt it does it. Yep, doesn't. Avenir. Here it is. Okay. Yep, here we go. So in Avenir, I have several options, and let's see if I can remember. Case in, no? Oh yeah, case sensitive layout. I can click capital forms. So, let's get out of that, and let's do this. Let's select all there. Okay, now let's go to Avenir. And this typography capital forms. So again, you lose some control. As you can tell, I had to choose a specific font, and I quite frankly I don't know a good way to tell you which fonts do this and which ones don't. It's not that they're system fonts necessarily. It's not that they're um, newer fonts. Maybe if you know, you can leave a comment below. But that's another possibility. And this is actually the way that we're doing it at my church. Is um, Since, as I say, we've got Pro Video Player doing this... And then once you do this, by the way, you can create a template and it, it will follow in the template, um, which is something that I've addressed in an earlier video, creating templates. Look for that here on YouTube or on trinitydigitalmedia.com or in the course if you're in a course and you're reading this or watching this, rather. Um, any of these things will it will transfer over. So those are the different ways that you can make all caps. You can use the all caps checkbox. You can use an all caps font. You can use the uh, capitalization, capitalization styles in some fonts by going to here and here, topography and case sensitive layouts. You can do that. You can right-click on an individual slide and select all caps. Um, make all capitals, I believe. Or you can export the whole, export the entire song, select all, and um, right-click and select all capitals. So they each have their positives and negatives. Until we found this problem with Pro Video Player. I thought that the all caps checkbox had rendered all these other methods moot, uh, just not useful, but apparently it hasn't. 
uh, this is a glitch and that's how you get around it with Pro Video Player 2 and Pro Presenter 6. Well, I hope that's helpful to you. Now, once Pro Presenter 7 comes out, they might have this all lined out, but as I'm recording this, August 2016, we're still probably just a guess. I have no inside information whatsoever, but I would think at least a year or two away from Pro Presenter 7. So, I don't anticipate that this is going to be something that gets changed really quickly. I think that this might be something that you need to use under certain circumstances. So, I hope that that was helpful to you. I hope that now you know which to use under what circumstances and um, the ways to accomplish it should you have a need that is not fulfilled by just the all caps check box. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can pick up a free copy of my newsletter along with some church tech gifts. Probably another good way to do it is trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. That takes you there as well like, subscribe, etc. this video, whatever way you want to interact, please by all means do. And until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.